So we're gonna do something pretty cool in this video. I'm gonna show you how to create a tool like this where you can just click on a crypto kitty and the prices of all the cryptocurrencies that you hold to the dollar will automatically update for you. How cool is that? You can even click on this little camera and it'll take a snapshot of the current position for you automatically. So there is no more going onto coin market cap or wherever you go manually entering in the price to the dollar of all the cryptos you hold to see what's happened with your portfolio with this tool you can just click the cat and it's automatically going to update for you it's really simple to do i can't wait to show you let's get into it Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a new Excel workbook. We're gonna start right from the beginning. So all you need to do this is Microsoft Excel. And if you go to the link in the description of this video, you will see a link to an API for coin market cap. What does that mean? An application interface. All this is is a way of getting data from coin market cap behind the scenes. So you're going through the back door to get all this information. So you need this link. Now, this uses what's called an API key. You can see as I have highlighted up here, you can get your own API key from CoinMarketCap, just Google CoinMarketCap API, sign up, copy your key, paste it here, because a user's only allowed to do so many calls to the data per month or per day or whatever. And if everyone is using this one link that I'm putting on YouTube, then it'll stop working eventually. But it's so easy to fix. And I wanted to put this link here just for you to play with so you can learn how this works. So the first thing I wanna do is just copy this link, go over to the internet, go into your web address bar and paste that link in here. And what you will see is a ton of data. Now we're interested in the heading that says data. So this is the only area I'm interested in. And you'll see there's a bunch of numbers underneath that. So zero relates to Bitcoin, one relates to Ripple. I bet you that too relates to Ethereum. Yes, it does, etc. So there's all this data here, but what we wanted to do is just automatically update into Excel for us. So going back to Excel over here and copying our link, what we're going to do is go to data and then you go to new query. You click on new query, you go from other sources from the web. So data, new query from other sources from web and you paste in the URL like we did in Google, but you paste it in over here. And again, this link is in the description of the video, so you can just copy what I've already created for you and hit OK. Now you're gonna see the query builder. Now remember, we wanted everything under data. So we wanna to go to data and click list, and we want all the records in that list under data. So what we have to do is go up here and click to table. And when we do that, it's going to give us a bunch of questions. We just hit OK. And now it's going to allow us to expand all these records. So these little arrows over here, you want to click that. And you can see now all these column headings that can pop in. Now, if we go back to the internet, you can see they're exactly the same as these column headings here. And in fact, we can go even deeper into the quotes to US dollar to get the price, to get market cap, to get volume. I'm pretty sure volume's on here somewhere. Where is it? Yeah, there it is, volume, etc. So it's not just the price you can automate, it's volume, it's the market cap ranking, etc. And then you just hit OK. And now we've got all this data in our query builder. We need to scroll to the right and we want to break open this quote to US dollar. And if you look over here, we need to break that open again to get to the price. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click on this one more time and I'm going to hit OK. And now we have all this data available. By the way, we only have to do this once. Once we've built this, it's built. So we're gonna hit close and load over here and it's gonna fetch all that data. There it is. Now, here is the beauty of this. If you've got this far, by the way, well done. I've got complete confidence that you're gonna finish this, you're gonna build this and you're gonna save hours of your life when it comes to updating cryptocurrency prices. So all you need to do to update this is right click anywhere in this table and click refresh. And when you do that, it's just gonna pull all the latest information. For example, if I go over to the right here where all the price information is, I'm gonna right click, refresh. By the way, you can do it anywhere, but I just wanna show you how this actually works. So now we know the data is automatically going to refresh. How do I summarize this in a way that's actually useful to me? So let's pretend I hold some coins. I'm just gonna copy these coins over here. 
and pretend to hold them. I'm gonna paste them or type them in, however you wanna do it on a new sheet. So I've gone to a second tab over here. Here's our data. In fact, let's double click and call this data. And here's our summary. So we'll just call the summary or portfolio, pink elephants or orange monkeys, whatever you wanna call it. And we wanna get the price to the dollar of Bitcoin. So a very good formula to do this is what is called a sum if formula. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you exactly how the sum if formula works so that you can go from this to something that looks like this, where you click a cat and prices just automatically update or click a snapshot and it updates the latest prices and stores them for you so that you can click update and see the prices that have moved. Anyway, this is gonna be really useful. Let's get into the sum if formula. We'll do it in the next video, so stay tuned. Until then, take care and talk soon.